When Jesus died, two journeys were established. One of the journey was downward, and the other was upward. Hebrews 4.11, quickly, let's run. I'm looking at what Jesus established, what that altar projected, what that altar propagated, what that altar represented, the substance of that altar. Um, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. He said, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the edification, for the perfecting of the saints, and for the work of the ministry, and for edifying of the body of Christ. Now, but before this was given, what was the journey that Jesus engaged in? What was the journey? Give me from verse 9. Let me show you. Before Jesus established the gifts of the ministry, there was a journey he undertook. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also what? So there were two journeys. There was the journey of ascension, and there was the journey of what? Dissension. There was the journey of ascension, and there was the journey of dissension. Give me Psalm 24. Let's elaborate on these journeys. That journey was kickstarted from the altar. Give me verse 6. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, seller. Verse 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. This was the journey downward. Jesus descended before he ascended. Upon dissension, there was a mission to collect that which Satan had stolen. So one of the reasons for the altar in Golgotha was to, because salvation would be of none effect if the instrument of death was still in the hand of Satan. So one of the things, one of the legalities that Jesus' death gave was that he could now travel downwards. And as in the middle of their celebration, in the middle of their victory celebration, they had a knock. God will cut short the celebrations of your enemies. Yeah. Did you pick that? I speak to everyone under the sound of my voice. Online on site. Every Thing that represents the celebrations of your enemies will be cut off today. Yeah. And so listen to me. While they were partying and celebrating, oh, we've done, we've done it. We've, that man that troubled us is gone. And in the middle of their celebration, there was a siren. Oh my God. <laughs> you don't understand the potency of this altar. Who is there? Jesus didn't need to talk. The convoy replied. Leave. In fact, they did not, the opening of the gate for them was not at the, at the mercy of those that were inside. It has to open automatically. But there was a need to announce their arrival. There was a need. Lift up your head, O oh, 
three gates. It was an eternal gate. I don't care how eternal. The altar that is on your case is tonight. We came to challenge them. Oh, I, I'm, I'm speaking from, from a deep substance now. Hear me? I came furious in the spirit. I came to attack Satan today. So I'm, I'm saying that I don't care how ancient the altar is. I came with an altar that is called the ancient of all ancients. It was, it was evidentiated by the triune God. It was the blood of Jesus, who is the second person of the Trinity, that announced that this man indeed was a righteous man. Upon his baptism, the spirit came and said, this is my son. Ah, how many witnesses you? When he was to be born, God had to transport the angels and meet these Levitical shepherds to tell them, you see that thing you have been doing, the original version has come. So go back. This time around, you will not find a shepherd. You will not find a lamb. You will find a human being. Wrapped in the same instrument you use in wrapping the sacrificial lamb. This time around, he's not taking away the sin of Israel. He's taking away the sin of the world. His blood speaks better things than the blood of Israel. I don't care the power that is sitting over your authority. I came with the power of the ancient. When he announces, he does not need Satan to open the door. The door will open. Hey! This requires some tongues in one minute. Hande sumanaya. Menate brasuna. Satan will be humiliated tonight. Ah! Helia sambia tona. There are men and women that will arise tonight. And torture the devil. They will take their place in destiny. The ordination will rise again. They will shine brighter. They will lay hand on substances that are eternal. Substances that are eternal. Because Satan will be quieted. Satan will be silenced. Amanetunaya Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. He said, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Verse 8. They asked, who is this king of glory? We are celebrating a certain victory here. Ah. Before the celebration of Satan will finish, the announcement of your victory will come. Hey, I feel something. I feel something. I'm not ordinary. Hear me? There will be a report that will intercept the report of the devil. I said there will be a report that will intercept the report of Satan. That report that is from hell, there is a message that is coming to swallow it. I said there is a message that is coming to swallow it. Who is this king of glory? Who is this king of glory? I thought somebody would give me a reply. Who is this king of glory? Oh. Let me explain that. The Lord strong and mighty, the mighty in battle. It means that 
This is a man that takes pleasure in war. So if your life has not experienced war for some time, you can organize one and invite him. <laughs> you can organize one and invite him. He's ready to war, sir, anytime. He takes pleasure in war. So when your life is too quiet, he's not happy. Is there war? Is there war? Invite him, invite him. Okay, invite him. Jonathan, invite him. Invite him. That is his hobby. That's his hobby. Shake somebody and say, do you know his hobby? He's a man of war. He's a man of war. Oka, Oka, you have been quiet for too long. You've been quiet for too long. Oh, you don't know that your king is a man of war. That was his introduction. The Lord, strong. He doesn't just make mouth. When, he's come, when he comes to the battle, he has the strength it takes to achieve victory. The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty. Can we shout it like a congregation? The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Alcien clan, the Lord. The Lord. Online on site, the Lord. That was his introduction. Give me the next verse. Another announcement came. Lift up your heads. Notice that they didn't say open for us. Did you notice they didn't say open for us? We don't need the one inside to open. We are speaking to the gate. The gates will open. The gates of Makoni will open. I, I'm drunk right now. I'm drunk. I, I'm drunk right now. The gates of Nigeria will open. The gates of the nations will open. The gates will open. The gates of nations will open. Ah, I feel like shouting. I feel like running. I feel like shouting. I feel like running. Mata. Gates will open. Nations will open. Satan will suffer so much humiliation tonight. Hear me? He said, if you lift them up, you have everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. And the door opened. And the door opened. And the king stepped in. And when the king stepped in, Revelation chapter 1 verse 18 tells us the rest story. Revelation 118, media. Media, Revelation 118. The rest story is there. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive. Oh, I am alive. Forever. Forever. Somebody jump. Somebody celebrate life. 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 Hey! Hey! Oh yeah! I am alive forevermore. Amen. 
give me that amen and have and have and have and have and have have you noticed that the word have is a present tense it didn't say I had he said I have presently no mosquito can die without the signature of Jesus not even a mosquito because the key of hell and death is in his hand Oga, he's your friend he will not use it against you <laughs> I am glad that I belong to Jesus the key of death is in my friend's hand any day I die it is because God called me not because Satan is powerful because the key of death is in the hand of my friend he said now if you look at Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 he said through death he took the key from the one that had past tense ah, let's do that grammatical comparison can somebody see let's read the last part that through death he might destroy him that had him that what him that what oh God, he doesn't have he doesn't have it again why are you afraid of the one that I had somebody now has it Satan had Jesus has I get them before no be property <laughs> Uh, hey! Somebody holler with me. I get them before. No be property. You woke up and you died in the dream. Stand up and go and buy coke and bread and drink and Satan has not the key anymore. He lost it. Because there was a journey of dissension. That was the first journey. He said, I have the key now. I collected it from the one that had it. Every embargo of death expires tonight. Every embargo, siege of death expires now 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 in the name of jesus <laughs> <laughs>